Yeah, it was interesting because the first game against Dimension, I was, I really thought Dimension was going to take it. Uh, even though he got kind of three star the first game, I was thinking like, okay, now everyone has great practice against Peach, and you just got to find your footing. But even though, so he didn't run into like. Galen, there's so many sets. Also, Dragon Hole, I can talk after the set. All right. Uh, so anyway, so. Weedle considers himself really, really good at the Puff matchup. Uh, his practice partner in Norway for a long time was a Puff. And Sonar, meanwhile, uh, goes to the University of Pittsburgh, where there really aren't any Peaches in the city of Pittsburgh. Yeah, besides Carol's Peach, who doesn't really use them that often. And just with how many uh, Peaches off switch, at low level especially, which, it's like I know I'm a Fox main, but I'll always heavily disagree with that, because it's not like, you know, it's kind of a silly comparison, but Armada would destroy these puffs. Yeah. So it's not like it's your character that's holding you back, even though it's annoying. Uh, but Weedle... I don't, I don't imagine he's ever been the type to switch off like that. No. I don't think um, unless, with, the, unless there's the rare blood level blunts appearance. Yeah. Let's see if any... I don't think he has under sec any secondaries, does he? No secondaries that he uses on purpose. Like, yeah. um... It, a lot of times he enters certain events uh, with his uh, silly tag, low level blunts. He has a sick Pikachu, Samus, uh, a few other characters. But he doesn't oh, yeah, actually. I played his Samus earlier. Yeah, but he doesn't actually bring out any yeah. other uh, any other characters for it. Thanks, Holt. See you guys. Yep. Also, uh, no, I already mentioned. It. I already talked again. All right, but last time uh, Weedle and Sonar played. Went to game three, last hit, last stop on uh, Pokemon Stadium. And Sonar arrested Weedle's, uh, Weedle's second to last stop right when the platform was, right when the stage was transforming into the grass transformation. Uh -oh. And where Sonar was, was right on the top platform in the grass transformation. So Weedle came down off the respawn platform, and Sonar's sleeping puff was in the perfect position uh, yeah. to just up smash it. Sonar died. Yeah. Like yeah, it was funny when I was playing Cascaded like uh, back in January or so. Uh, so I went to game three on Stadium and uh, I had a pretty solid lead the whole time, but he was all so I was up two to one with his last stock. Uh, he was only at like twelve percent I think, but he up the rest of me, but he landed on the platform. So I just, you know, I DI'd it right, and I just did drill, grab, pummel, pummel, up throw, up air, and it killed him in like, you know, 40-ish. Wow. Uh, so that's the, that's the danger with platforms. Yeah. Gotta watch out for that. Yeah, now that's something Sonar's been doing a lot Drill, he is very yeah. good at drill grab, which is not an easy combo. Uh, Saturn! Let's go! No! Grab the Saturn! Puff. Does Puff have a good item throw? I actually have no idea. Uh, I don't think it's actually that good, but I've seen Hungry Box whenever he plays Peach grab. Oh. Uh. I think that j might just be because, like, the area on the stage is, like, floating. Just so it happens to be good to grab the turnips. He is, as far as I know, he doesn't actually get anything good out of him. See, I, I full around with Peach, and I actually didn't... I... I really like Peach versus Floaties, just personally. More so than... That's because all my secondaries... Other than, like, the Fox Dodo and Valco, I'm really bad against Fox, so make what you will of it. But I do really like the Peach Ditto and this when I play around with Peach. Yeah. And he's playing this exquisitely. That is why you don't just drill up Smash Galen. Uh, oh, wait, was that, like, a true... Did he SDI out and then? Uh, no, I think it's just hard to hit. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a true combo, but it's just yeah, it's very a true, lot more right? difficult than uh, drill grab. As long as, as long as the, the other character get does that like little flip animation. Yeah, from the puff, you gotta get like that perfect last yeah. hit or something. Yeah, their drill combos are very difficult. Yeah. Uh, but there's something that seeing Hungry Box this year seems like every puff has just stepped that up. Because uh, I remember when I was first getting started and playing around with puff, I was like, wait, this is, you know, like the first month or so I started playing, I was like, wait, it's girl rest a thing. <laughs> like I got it like a few times, and I was like, oh. I remember I, I thought down throw rest was like, cause, you know, it was just on CPUs. I was like, oh, set, sets it up every time. Shoutouts to combos that only work on CPUs. Yeah. Down throw shine. Down throw rest. Uh, I don't think that light shield was intentional because he could have just shielded off up there. 
But I don't know, it's Puff. You might be able to jump out of that, plus the fade back. Uh, as far as I know, Sarna doesn't shield drop. But no, I, I, I could uh, be wrong. No, I was talking about when uh, he drilled his shield on the platform. We, oh. We like, oh, yeah, we, we don't go to just shield drop. Yeah. Oh, is that a stitch? He, oh, uh, he threw it away. Yeah, he does seem like a Peach player who doesn't... Uh, like, I think we were talking about earlier, he generally opts to... Not try to abuse the good RGN. RGN. He doesn't like to take the risk because they can catch it. Yeah. Uh, but it is a strange decision. Yeah, especially at this percent. Yeah, like, it's a strange decision it, when the risk reward is very. You, you get one throw, puffs at 50 or so, another, she's at 70. Yeah. And if she catches it, you know, either you miss, and, eh, and if she catches it, so what? That just happens. It's not. Yeah. yeah. But either way, he's still very. It's close, but he seems very much in control. Oop. Uh, oh. so, now that is something Sonar has been working on. Yeah, about. that is like, both hard to connect and hard for the other player to DI raw. You kind of have to get a little lucky, barring extensive well, matchup. What I've noticed in Sonar is that, like, in situations like that, you'll pick on the patterns of what the other person likes to do, and then rest if he knows that they're not, like, putting an attack out there to stop it. Like, I'm pretty sure. Was it. Was it a rest in raw neutral that he did it to Dimension? Uh, was it game uh, one, I think? No, it wasn't a raw neutral. What happened? Oh, oh. got him. Yeah, this, I could see him throwing away. Yeah, it is strange that he doesn't opt to throw away the stitch here when the risk reward yeah. is much shakier. But right. like we were saying, I'm guessing Puff's item throw isn't that good because I never see them doing it. I feel like, I'm, feel like I've it's, never seen a Puff catch It doesn't go as far it. as Sheik's. I know that. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a Puff catch a tournament, but she doesn't need to. I mean, like, look at those stubby arms. How far can she really throw it, you know? Yeah. Although, I mean, we've seen how far her back her back foot goes. On her. Yeah. yeah, her foot goes on her back there, so. Sonar is playing this really well right now. Uh, this isn't, this matchup, this is pretty decent lead. Not amazing. Because I don't think, no. I wouldn't say Puff has the easiest time killing Peach. But she doesn't have the best... Yeah. yeah, that's what makes um, drill grab easier, is that you get the shield by with that. Yeah, the thing is, the um, the tumble, like, flip animation does not always happen. Yeah, I don't you know the specifics. Like, I think but, it's but, like you land with the inside, yeah, yeah. inside or something at the last take down there. That was a really, um, really well spaced off smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peach doesn't... It's like, at worst, he's gonna trade with the air, and a horizontal trade with a vertical move, and you're a kill percent, is... No. It's not gonna work. No? Yeah. I don't think the um, the down air like tumble. I don't think that's a percent thing. I'm pretty sure it's just. No, uh, it's it's one of those weird moves that a meteor on grounded opponents, but not on aerial opponents like yeah. Fox's up tilt and Mario's up smash. Well, like I said, I don't know the ins and outs, so I'm not sure if it's like a specific hit or just how you land. Oh, but oh almost, the turn it. I'm almost one of. He wouldn't have been able to rest, but he might have been able to get another back air or something. I don't think she's. Okay. Uh, like I was saying earlier, one th one reason I do like this matchup, the floatier ones, is that I have the good turn up gimmicks down with ledge cancels and uh, knitting. Which oh, you can knit? Yeah. Oh, nice. well, not the real knit. I can How do the, the pseudo knit. The, yeah, um, where you the real knit is I think is where you buffer the you yeah, know, buffer you the jump and buffer the float, which is really hard. You can buffer float. So you buffer the jump, but you just hold down and wide. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But it's a it's a really like hard input. You know, you're doing a million things at once there. But yeah, I can do the non-buffered version, which is still quite nice. Uh, but Weedle is obviously fundamentally sound oh. enough to not need it. I, I just do think Peaches would like this matchup more if they uh, learn those. Especially Ledge Cancel is surprisingly a nice tool to have. Yeah. Oop. Oh. Nice little grab. Okay, one strong... I think one strong up there will kill Puff. Not 100% sure. Oh, oh, that will kill Puff. No, dear. He caught him. Oh, uh, very well played that second game. But yeah. Hmm. So, is the next match on stream going to be me versus Meeseeks? Perhaps. I'm probably, not sure. They probably don't want Weedle to be on there twice in a row.